Back on the Rivercats pregame show, we're at Southwest University Park in El Paso, and it's game three of this series, the Rivercats and El Paso Chihuahuas. I'm joined by Tyler Fitzgerald, who is off to a great start, and that's putting it mildly. Uh, six for nine, Fitzy, four homers, including a grand slam, eight RBIs. Uh, it's been fun to watch. What's got you uh, so dialed in here uh, in your mind? Thanks, Zach, and thanks for having me on here. Uh, nothing really. You know, coming here, I hadn't played in a little bit, so just coming here, seeing where I'm at. I uh, didn't really have any expectations. Uh, just kind of getting the feel of you know playing every day and and getting a full nine innings in and just not putting any pressure on myself. Realizing that you know I could come here and struggle at first just because I haven't had a lot of at bats. But you know we're off to a good start. So um, just just really seeing the ball well and, and putting pitches that I should hit and play, which is you know when you swing at good pitches and, and, and take balls and you set yourself up for some success. So that's what I've been doing and hopefully continue that tonight. I want to get into your debut here in a minute. Uh, you made your debut last year in the big leagues, but I was really impressed. You and I had a chance to chat a little bit in the airport when you first got here, and you know, you you you, you were such a positive uh, a positive attitude guy. You know, coming back, and uh, you know, some guys can be bitter about being optioned back. It was your first time uh, getting optioned back, and uh, you know, you said that this was going to be an opportunity for you to to get consistent playing time. Tell us, you know, what goes through your head when you when you get option back and, and are in the situation yeah for me i just try to take everything you know positively so take it as an opportunity an opportunity to play every day an opportunity to get better and um you know hopefully i can i can keep this thing going and then when I, once i get called back up uh help the team more than i did so um no no bitterness out of me i've, I've never really been that way my whole career i kind of realized you know the role i was in utility up there at some point i was going to get optioned um, you know, regardless of how I was doing, just to get more at bats in. Um, so before the season even started, I realized that that was probably going to happen at some point. Um, but just really excited to get to play every day, get my body in shape, and like I said, just be able to help the big league team uh, later on this year. You got your first 10 games of the big leagues last year, and I mean, in my mind, it was long overdue. You were such a steady performer last year. What was it like to have that first experience? What was it like to, to get the news that you were getting called up for the first time? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, you know, had a good year last year, and there were a lot of times, you know, midway through the year when I was just sitting in my hotel room at night, just wondering, am I going to get that call tonight? And months went by, you know, still playing my hardest, you know, going out there and competing. And then just to finally, you know, when we're at the last week of the season, you know, when you think that, you know, that opportunity's not going to come, it finally did. So luckily I was, you know, kind of able to, to stay locked in and, um, you know, I, I figured that it would come at some point this year, but last year was a little bit of a surprise to me just how late it came, and it was just a dream come true and awesome to be able to do it in L.A. and my family to be there and my fiance was just incredible. I got to talk with Jackson Reed the other day about hitting his first major league home run in Philly. You had that experience last year. What was that like for you? <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Uh, and mine just came with just a simple two-strike swing. It wasn't trying to do too much. It was like... You know, I saw it off the bat, and I was like, oh, my gosh, is this really happening? And then you kind of just black out. Like, I can remember it now, but, like, in the moment, like, no real thoughts were going through my mind. It just kind of happened all at once, and uh, it was really cool. And then just to have my parents and my fiancé there and my brother go back to the hotel and celebrate with them, and it was probably, like, the biggest I've ever seen all of them smile um, just because I hit a homer in a big league game and just really, really special. It's funny you said that because Rizzi said that he blacked out too when he, when he reached first base uh, when he hit his in Philly. We're joined by Tyler Fitzgerald here on the pregame show. You, know, you played 22 games in the big leagues this year, and you hit 269. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Um, what was it like to go back this year, having had that experience last year and, and gotten your feet wet at that level last year? You know, I it was honestly I put more pressure on myself this year than I did last year. Last year I already played 120 games, so. I was, I was in mid-season form this year, you know, coming out of spring training, regardless of what level you're at, you know, you always put a little bit of pressure on yourself and there's always those jitters, but uh, really there's nothing that can prepare you for that, you know, breaking camp with, with a team. And for me, just being able to experience that every, you know, at the beginning of the year, every game matters so much, mm -hmm. you know, you get later in the year, it's just one of 162, but at the beginning of the year, you put so much pressure on it. Uh, for me, you know, defensively, it wasn't great. Uh, I got my hits, you know, when I was in there, I battled. Um, so I, I can come out of that saying, you know, I, I competed, I did okay. And it's just a good learning experience, you know, for next year, you know, if I break to not put any pressure on yourself, just like when you're playing here in AAA, you just, 
you're kind of, you know, your, your mind's at ease and you're out here having fun and really that's what you should be doing up there. So it was just a good learning experience. In what ways would you say you developed last year? Uh, the biggest thing for me was just being consistent, just having an approach every day. And, and the main thing was just not getting too high, not getting too low. You know, I come out here and I have two great games, but you know, I, this game will humble you so fast. So, you know, the people don't realize, you know, like they always say, don't get too low, but I think what's more important is don't get too high. You never want to get too confident and come out here and just take this game for granted. So for me, that, that was the biggest thing was just learning how to be more consistent. Lastly, you're on, you're on the 40 now, which is great. I think mean, it's a place everybody wants to be, but at the same time, it kind of changes the dynamic of things. You know, you can be on the shuttle, you could be up and down. And, you know, for someone who's played baseball their whole life, maybe the innocence gets lost a little bit and it becomes more like a business at that point. How, how do you handle that? How do you process that? At the end of the day, I just want to come out here and have fun. You know, I'm, I'm playing this game for a job. And when you're up in the big leagues, a lot of times it does feel like a job. But when I come back here, I just feel like a little kid. So. Uh, hopefully one of these times, once I do get sent back up there, I can take that same mentality and uh, just just don't take it for granted when you're up there and, and just, you know, kind of have that same little kid mentality of just go out there and have fun and don't worry about all the outside noise. And I think that's probably the biggest thing I learned from that those 48 games I just I was just a part of. So, yeah. Fitzy, what an electric start. Always fun to watch you play. Appreciate the time and insight. Congratulations on your big league debut and, uh, and cheers to many more uh, big league games to come for you. Yeah, thank you. I hope so. Thanks for having me, Zach.